Hello, dear friends. Welcome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. My name is Mariana Stovall. If you have no idea who I am, it's okay. You don't need to know. <laughs> It's okay. We're going to be friends real quick. I can already tell. So if you are brand new to my lives, please do me a favor and drop a one below. And if you are one of my regular followers, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Share this with your teams if you feel like this is going to give them some value and give you value. Okay, drop a two also below. And if you are catching me on the replay, meaning that this live box is gone, please drop a three below. I appreciate it. So while you guys are coming on, I want to tell you a little bit about my story and how it kind of intertwines to what I'm going to talk about today, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm super excited about this. This has been something that's been, I feel like has been on my heart all week um, through lots of personal development, lots of prayer, lots of devotions, and I just keep seeing this theme come over and over and over again. So I'm thinking, okay, Lord, you're telling me something and I'm not listening. So <laughs> it's time to just shut up and listen to what God has for you, okay? So <laughs> um, I just want to tell you right off the bat, like, I don't normally wear makeup like this. So this is a little vampy for me, but I... Um, I'm loving it. This lipstick is going away very soon, so I was like, I need to use it as much as possible. And I figured I'm not going anywhere today, but I still want to wear it. So, like, I'm very vampy right now. Like, my hair is parted in the middle. Totally, totally not my normal look, but I'm, I'm loving it. So, a little bit about me. I won't go into my whole story, but um, <clears throat> I just just a little bit so that way you can get a good understanding. So um, I have been with my company now for two years, over two years, and I have seen, I've seen a lot of growth. I've seen a lot of setbacks, um, but it starts even before, before I even started this company, okay? Um, I have gone through a lot of trials in my life. Um, I'm in my mid-30s, okay? So um for a mid 30 year old, I've, I've seen some stuff. I've done some stuff that I'm not always proud of, or I know I'm not proud of, but I have overcome them. And I, I just want to give hope to you guys that this, whatever situation that you're going through right now, this too shall pass. Okay. It will pass. So just to kind of like sum up my life before my business started, I um, was a teen mom, got pregnant at 14. Um, still had to finish high school and went to college with the help of my parents. Um, was not able to socialize and party and hang out like, like my, my fellow peers could. Um, so I started getting resentful of that. And, um, <laughs> I didn't appreciate where I was in my life at that point. Okay, so um, I had my beautiful baby daughter, Handi, who is now a senior in high school. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but um, I was taking care of her, working, going to school, dueling all, in, all of this stuff by myself with, with the help of my parents, but no like significant other um, at all for quite some time until I got married in about 2006, okay? And so by then, um, <clears throat> things are going really well. Um, we've had some, some trials and tribulations in our life through our marriage, but then we overcame that. And then the, the most devastating thing that's happened in my life um, has been in 2011 when my brother, my only baby brother, uh, stepped on a landmine in Afghanistan. And he lost both of his legs. He is now nonverbal. He requires 24-hour care. We pretty much moved everything from where we used to live in the Midwest to come to San Antonio to take care of him because we refused to have him in a nursing home. We know that we can provide, only we, like our family, only us can provide the best care for him and so we took it upon ourselves to to do that right hi terry i'm so glad you're here i love you so much thank you so much for supporting me i appreciate it thank you um you are the amazing one you 100 percent are the amazing one so so that's i've gone through some stuff right <laughs> and i want to say that i 
like I handle it like a champ, but in reality, I did not. In fact, I was very depressed. I was very angry with life. I was very angry with God at what has come to my, my life. The things that I have come across, I was very, very bitter, very, very bitter, very negative. I, um, I couldn't trust very well. I, I had no trust in, in men. <laughs> I had no trust in men. I had, um, superficial friends. Um, that I say superficial because I feel like I, I was a superficial person. Like I thought we were friends and we would help each other out, but we were really just glorified drinking buddies, right? Like I drank a lot of alcohol and I thought that that was my vice. Like I needed that to, to, um, to validate who I was, you know, like I would, party all the time, all the time. And I have somehow overcome all of that. And honestly, the only way I've been able to overcome that is by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, because I, I, <laughs> that that's a whole nother life. Okay, so the struggles that I went through, I could have dwelled and stayed in that in that in that season in that pain for forever I could have um and I did for a really long time I I was functioning don't get me wrong I was functioning I was going to work I was taking care of our kids I was you know being a wife being a friend I was still doing all these things but I was just missing something in my life right trying not to cry missing something in my life and um I thought that I was a broken person because of the experiences that I had. And I thought that bad things were happening to me because I was a bad person. Does that make sense? Does, does that resonate with anybody else here? I, um, I felt that I was getting stuff that was coming to me. You know what I mean? So I, um, <clears throat> I just assumed I'm never going to amount to anything. This is as good as it's going to get. You know, very, very, very negative mindset, guys. That's not healthy to think that, you know, this is not going to get better to not appreciate where I was at with who I was with and the family that I had and the friends that I did, the true friends that I had and the support that I, I had through my family. Like none of that stuff mattered to me. It was like, oh, woe is me. My life sucks. Nothing's going to get better. I'm never going to hit my dreams, my goals, whatever. It was very much me, 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 me. It was very selfish. So um, <laughs> the reason I'm saying all these struggles <clears throat> in my life, because it eventually <laughs> folded into my business. Now, when I started my business two years ago, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no experience whatsoever in network marketing. I was just excited because I wanted a discount on the products that they were providing. And I the the commission itself was awesome. So I was like, okay, me, 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 right? <laughs> Back to that mentality. <laughs> so then when I started to understand how a network marketing worked and the business itself, I was able to to generate a lot of sales, to generate a lot of a few team members to come um, within my team and to grow, you know, without really knowing what I was doing. And then I came at a standstill. And then those thoughts that I was telling myself before my business, throughout those struggles that I had in my life, I started saying to that stuff again to me, like, oh, I, I knew I shouldn't have done this. I knew I shouldn't have started this business because I'm not, I'm not where I need to be. I'm not, you know, I don't know. I'm not raking in a million bucks or, you know, I don't have like 10,000 people under me. Like, I don't understand what's going on. People are not responding to my messages. You know, I'm, I'm stuck. All these things that we say to ourselves when we're starting out and with our new business or a new job or whatever, and we're not seeing those promotions that we think we deserve, <coughs> excuse me, started, started filling my head and I started to believe it. And because I started to believe it, my business started to, to dwindle a little bit in a sense because I didn't have that belief in myself like I did when I first started. When I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just having fun. And then when, when I realized the potential of the business, I started to get into my mind and I started letting thoughts go in there and just just mess with me even more, you know? And so then as a result of that, my action dwindled. And because my action dwindled, 
<coughs> excuse me, my results dwindled as a result. Lots of results there. So anyways, why am I telling you all this stuff? And, and I'm telling you this because it reminds me of the story that I read this morning. Again, this thing, this, this topic has been on my heart all week and it, every single day, like no matter what I read, what I see, what people are talking to me, the things that I see on my feed and Facebook, I'm like, okay, Lord, you're telling me something I need to, I need to understand that this is you talking talking to me and I need to to live it. I need to stop dwelling in these thoughts, right? Um hi Callie, thank you. I have um I was just playing around with stuff. It's I don't even know. It's like a it's like a green shimmer with um shoot. <laughs> I should have I should have figured out the names. I'll let me look them up when I'm done here and then I'll put them in the comments. I I was just kind of messing around with stuff. I'm like, oh, maybe this will work together. Oh, maybe this will work together. So not too bad, right? Not too bad. Not too shabby. So anyways, the story that I read this morning, whether you guys are Christian or whatever, you read the Bible, um, goes back to Joseph. Joseph he was a man who had was it 11 brothers, 12 brothers? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I'm quoting Bible and I don't even know. So Joseph had these dreams that God was giving him, right? And he had these dreams of um, that eventually meant that his family would eventually bow down to him, right? And his brothers didn't like that idea. So what do they do is they throw him, <clears throat> they throw him into this like well thing or this ditch thing, um, and then they pull him out and they sell him into slavery. So he had this um, crazy struggle in his life. However, throughout all of that, he didn't go in that mindset where it's like, God, my life sucks. You know, why is this happening to me? Like, I don't deserve these things, you know, because I'm just a screw up. He never went that route. In fact, he he leaned on God even more and just kept going. And he believed that God was on his side and that God was there protecting him and that he was with him through and through and through no matter what. So as a result of that, he, he, <laughs> in the midst of his struggles, he still held on, right? So he was sold into slavery, right? And then um, the Pharaoh's wife, or no, I'm not the Pharaoh. I think it was, um, Potiphar or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't normally like quote gospel or anything, but this, this has been in my mind and I need to, I need to just say it right. Cause I think this will help other people too. Like it has helped me today. So, um, I believe it's Potiphar. If you guys know, can you just like comment below the actual names and who they are? Cause I don't want to be butchering it, but I feel like I'm like, I'm just dwindling down here. <laughs> okay. So um, Potiphar, Potiphar's wife, um, sees Joseph and she's like, Ooh, Hey, like you look good. Like you should, uh, come hang out with me and stuff. And, and he's like, no, you're married. I'm not about that life. You know, you just need to move on. And so she got offended by that. Right. So she, instead <laughs> she takes it upon herself and she goes to her husband and was like, Hey, this guy tried to like touch me, try to violate me. Like I, I, he came out of nowhere and I didn't even know what was going on. And so he, Joseph ends up going to jail because of it, right? Another struggle in his life. Yet he continues to pray and he continues to believe in God and knowing that God is by his side, right? And so he, instead of, <laughs> instead of thinking, you know, God, like these situations, why, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening? Why can't I not be successful? Why can't I not see the results that I want? He kept his eyes on God, right? And just kept going, kept thinking positively. He knew that he was in good hands, that he would eventually come out of it. And sure enough, he did. He was, um, deciphering dreams and Pharaoh had this dream and no one could interpret it whatsoever. So they went to Joseph and he's like, I, I know what your, I know what your dream means. And he explained it to him and he's like, whoa, like Joseph's the only one in this world, in this land that knows exactly what I'm talking about. So you're going to be my number two man. Like <laughs> I'm pulling you out of jail and you're going to be like my right hand man. 
So out of all his struggles, out of all his strife, he was able to make it to the top by believing, believing in God, believing that things were going to turn out the way that they needed to turn out, right? So <laughs> I'm here to tell you that your struggles, no matter how painful, no matter how terrible they are, and you may feel like you can't get out of it, and that all things will never turn around, or you're never going to hit that rank for my friends that are in direct sales or MLM, that you're never going to hit that next rank, or you're never going to recruit that next person, or you're never going to make a sale. When you think about that, it's going to make it worse. It's going to make your situation worse, right? Your struggles, however, do not define you. Your struggles are not who you are, okay? You are not a bad person because you're going through these situations. We live, unfortunately, in a broken world. So things are going to happen to us that we have no control over. However, what we do have control over are, is our minds. We have the choice to decide whether we want to dwell in that bitterness and that pain and that anger or to dwell in a positive, in a more positive light, right? So, <clears throat> sorry guys, like, I feel like I'm preaching and I'm like losing my, my spit. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> so I, I hope this helps you in some way. Just, just know that the situation may seem blink in your eyes. It may seem bleak, but you don't know where that struggle is going to take you. You don't know where that pain is going to take you. Sometimes we need to go through that pain to get to the better things that are on the other side. I believe 100% that God has amazing plans for us, that we were put on this earth, we were put here in this world to truly make an impact. And when we start to think that we're not good enough, when we start to think that we're not better than Sally Sue who lives down the street, or when we start to compare ourselves to other people who have been successful and we say, oh, I'm never going to be like that. I'm never going to hit the top of my company like that person, so-and-so. Like, they were lucky, you know, like, they already had the crowd, or they're absolutely gorgeous, or hey, they have this amazing personality, you know, they're always this bubbly, funny person. <coughs> Stop believing that. The comparison is the thief of joy. <laughs> I truly needed to hear this today. Thank you for listening to God and Cheer. Oh, you're so welcome, Terry. You're so welcome. This is, this is all... The big man upstairs, <laughs> not going to lie. So I, I want you to know that your situation, wherever you're at, is not permanent. You have something amazing waiting for you on the other side. We have to sometimes go through that pain to grow. I heard this the other day. We have to go, we have to go through this pain so we can grow through it and become the better person that we need to be for that next journey, that next part of our lives, you know? And that's so, that's so powerful to me because I'm, I might think that I might be like this, this, you know, hip person and like I got everything and I'm good to go or whatever. <coughs> but the person I want to be <laughs> down the road in my life does not have the characteristics that I have right now. Like, I need to grow. I need to be better. I need to serve better. I need to be more, <laughs> more willing to step out of my comfort zones. I need to do things that make me uncomfortable within, you know, within my morals, of course. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to go streaking or anything like that, but that's, be that's besides the point. Um... <laughs> Uh, the person that I need to become is not who I am right now. And and the reason that is, is because I have to go through some struggles. I have to go through some pain in order to get to that other side. So think about that the next time you're in a really tough situation. <coughs> Excuse me. Or when you feel like you're stuck in your business and you're stuck at a, at a level that you've just been trying to get out of for the longest time. Remember, you're in there for a reason. You have to You have to go through it. You have to go through it, okay? And, and I can speak for myself, not only for pro professionally, like in my business, but also in, in, in real life, <laughs> in real life, and out of my business, 
life. <coughs> I can attest to this. Okay. Personally, I thought, I thought it was over. Like I was ready to just be miserable and accept that nothing good would ever come to me. You know, I was ready to accept that. And I'm so glad I didn't because now, <coughs> now my brother is still alive, right? <coughs> I'm so sorry. My brother is still alive. He could have died in 2011 with the, the injuries that he had, totally could have died. Doctors told us, in fact, he's not going to make it. Prepare for him to not make it. That was seven years ago. It'll be seven in November. Seven years ago, and he's still going. Like, that's a miracle. A miracle in itself, right? I never thought we would have a boy in our life. <laughs> I thought that we were done having kids. I thought we were never going to make it to that point because we were um, financial. I want to say financially struggling, but we weren't. Like, we were, we were, we were surviving. That's the best way I could put it. We were surviving. We were not thriving. And, and now I can say because of, because of God, because of the opportunities that have come into my life, I can say that we are, we are blessed, you know, and I'm not saying like I'm stupid rich and like I have like people coming at me nonstop and you know, like, like I'm just like this unstoppable person because <laughs> that's far, 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 far from the truth, right? But you don't have to be stupid rich. You don't have to have five houses. You don't have to have all these material possessions to make you successful. In my eyes, I'm already successful because I have, I have a family that I love with all of my heart that I can spend time with every single day. I am blessed and I am successful because I have a job that I've been dreaming and praying about for so long that I have a job that I can stay home and take care of my babies and still provide for our family. You know, I'm successful because I can be with my family now with my brother and take care of them and still be able to take care of, of us. You know, that's success to me. Anything else financially, you know, like the, the, I don't know, what's ridiculous? Like a built-in movie theater in our house? <laughs> or like our walls completely covered in bookshelves with movies because we're obsessed with movies? Like that, all of that is bonus. Whatever the Lord has planned for us, all of that stuff is bonus. But for us right now, like I am so <coughs> completely blessed. From where we're at, what we've we where we've came from, all that struggle, all that pain, all that grief, all the anger, <clears throat> to now, truly blessed, truly blessed. I'm successful, and my business. I like I said, I was at a stuck point, right? Like I wasn't seeing anything, I wasn't seeing any results. I was getting in my head. Now I'm starting to see that progress again because I know, I know, <sighs> I know, and as arrogant as this may sound, and I hope it doesn't seem like that, I know that I'm, I'm a child of God, right? God created me in his image and he is crazy powerful and super loving and, and all knowing. And for me to be created in his image means that I can overcome any any obstacle in my life as long as I have Christ on my side. So because of that mentality, because of that mind switch, instead of thinking, oh, God, you know, like I just can't get anybody to sponsor. I can't sponsor anybody. I can't anybody to get can't get anybody to buy anything. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Or, you know, like, I'm just not seeing, I'm just not seeing the promotions. I'm not seeing anybody interested. Instead of thinking that way, I'm now thinking, who can I impact the most? What can I say today to people that are going to change their lives? I don't care about me because I know that I'm taken care of because God's on my side, right? I decided, I decided today that I would rather live like Joseph did, go through all of that strife, go through all of them struggles, 
and have Jesus Christ on my side and have the Lord by me, then, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting all fired up, then um, living how I was before, it's, it's all mind change, guys, it's all mind change, mind shift. I decided that I'm not going to let my struggles define who I am. I'm done with that. Because I know what I'm capable of. I know what I can do to help somebody else to make a difference in this world. So I know with the products that I have, the services that I have, with the opportunity that I have, that I can 100% make a difference in somebody's life. If they're willing. And that mentality, guys, when you're ready to serve and you're ready to help anybody that comes your way, oh, Lordy, watch out because you are just going to explode. You won't have you won't have those doubts anymore. You won't have the uncertainty. You won't have that. Well, I can't say you won't have that fear because you'll always have fear. You'll always have fear, unfortunately. But you can decide to overcome that fear rather than dwell in that fear. So I'm done preaching. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You have no idea. When I truly say I love you guys, I mean it from the bottom of my heart because I, I, I'm nothing without you guys. Everything that I do... When I'm on here, whether it's on my business page or my personal wall, I do it because I love you guys, because I want to see you thrive in the best possible way that you can. I want to see you. I want to see you make an impact in this world. I want to see you do better than I am doing, right? I want to see that. So if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. If you found this of value, can you do me a favor, please, and share. Share with somebody who you think is struggling right now who needs to hear this because I needed to hear this and I've been hearing it all week and I've been fighting it. I've been fighting it. I've been letting those thoughts in my mind go go to the, to the point where I'm like, mm, maybe you're not cut out for this. Maybe you, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Maybe you should stop. My friends, those are lies. Those are lies being told to you. You cannot stop. You are meant for greatness. I, I truly believe that. Okay? So have an amazing day. Share this with people you think will get value from this. And uh, if you have any questions, I think I said that already, comment below. <laughs> If you like these sort of videos here, do me a favor and click follow. I think you can just tap on my nose and something will pop up on the very bottom here and it'll say follow, follow this, this business page. Okay. And I will probably focus on doing a lot more trainings, um, personally and for your business as well. So I appreciate every single one of you. Um, have an amazing weekend, stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.